Hello, today I would like to show you how to use Type to Phone to operate your iOS device with your Mac keyboard. You can get yourself a copy of Type to Phone by going to the App Store on your Mac and doing a search for Type the number two phone. Once you have it installed and you have paired your device with your Mac computer, you're ready to begin. In order to use type to phone you must have the program in focus on your computer so that the keystrokes you press get passed through to the iOS device. You should also turn off voiceover so that the keystrokes you press are not passed through to your computer they get sent to the iOS device. I will do that now. Voiceover off. Okay now by simply by pressing the left or right arrow on your keyboard with the upside down T you can navigate your device and I will do that now accessibility folder 11 apps books folder 10 apps entertainment folder 10 apps GPS apps folder 9 apps all I'm doing is pressing the right arrow health folder Three apps. iPod folder. And it's six navigating apps. my device. Miscellaneous folder. Five apps. Podcast folder. Four apps. Now, if I wanted to use the rotor, I would press either the left arrow and the up arrow or the right arrow and the up arrow. If I press left and up, it moves it counterclockwise. Characters. Language. Sounds. Containers. If I press right and up arrow, it goes clockwise. Sounds. Language. Characters very very nifty so now that I've got it running on my device I'm operating my device with my keyboard what can I do with this well you can do pretty much anything you can do with with touch gestures you can go in and out of folders miscellaneous folder five apps you simulate a one finger double tap by pressing the up and down arrow at the same time miscellaneous heading and then while field. when I'm in here, I can navigate this. Calculator. Compass. Stocks. Compass. You know. Calculator. Just by pressing left and right arrow. How do I get back to that previous screen? Well, there is a menu command in Type to Phone, which is simply titled Home. But I have assigned a keystroke to that so that I can press a keystroke on my keyboard and it'll automatically do that. Now if you have not assigned a keystroke to any of these commands you will have to turn voiceover back on so that you can get to the menus and I will show you how to do that. Voice over on. Type to phone. Type okay, to phone. Type window. To phone. Toolbar. I'm going to go to the menu by pressing V O M. Menu bar. Apple. Then over to the right. Type to phone. File. Edit. View. Special. And once you hear it say special, just down arrow. Special. Menu seven items. Function keys. Submenu. Consumer keys. Submenu. Key sequences. Submenu. Voice over. Submenu. Go into the voiceover submenu. Voiceover submenu 38 items. Read all, starting from the current position. Read from the top. Move to the status bar. Press the home button. Okay, it says press the home button. So if I press um, VO, control option, space. Press the home button. Miscellaneous folder. Five apps. It puts it back there. Now, what if I wanted to then continue navigating the interface? Well, first I need to turn voiceover off. Voice over off. Then just start pressing left or right arrow. Podcast folder. Four app. Productivity folder. Radio folder. Twelve apps. Shopping folder. Eight apps. Social it's folder. It's simple. Two apps. Now before I finish this, let me show you a couple of other things. Sports folder. Four I'm going to open up. Weather folder. Page one is seven. Safari. Adjust app store. Phone. Eight new I mail. Safari. Now to simulate a one finger double tap, again, you press the up and down arrow. Safari, Google Plus, Link, mm -hmm. Image, Landmark. 
Okay, now I'm going to go to the URL field. Reload button. FedoraAOUtlayer.com address. Text field. Clear text button. Now I'm going to type in a URL. W, 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 period, F, E, D, O, R, A, O, U, T, L, I, E, R, period, C, O, M, slash, B, L, O, G. Fedora outlier slash blog. To confirm what I've just typed, I'm going to go to the right, then back to the left real quickly. Clear text, address, text field, is editing, character mode, www.fedoraoutlayer.com. Slash blog. Okay, this is our blog. Now I'm going to press the return key on my keyboard. Reader available. Reader available. Google Plus. Link. Image. Landmark. Okay, now we're on the website. Now I know there's headings on this site, so I can use my rotor with the right arrow and the up arrow to go clockwise until I hear my rotor say headings. Handwriting. Lowered words. Lines. Speech rate. Volume. Punctuation. Hints. Headings. 52 headings. Okay, there's 52 headings. So now, once I get my rotor set to the setting I want to work with, I just simply press the down arrow. Fedora Outlier LLC. Fedora Outlier LLC. Main. Delivering Access Podcast Season 2, Episode 7 with Follow Friday with 64 ounces games. Follow Friday with a library of books at your fingertips. These are just blog posts that. that we put a up. A library of books at your fingertips. There's an app for that. Heading Level 2. Link. Okay, so if I wanted to go into one of these... I would click on the link with the up and down arrow at the same time. A library of books at your fingertips. There's a Google Plus link, image, landmark. And now that available. page, now that page has loaded. Okay, so let me go back to my device, the the main screen of my device. I have assigned, as I said earlier, a custom hotkey to press the home button. And on my keyboard, it is Command Option H. Safari. So now I'm back on the home screen. So I'm going to press the left arrow till I get to productivity. Mail. Phone. Eight app store. Page one of seven. A weather folder. Four app. Sports folder. Four app. Social folder. Two apps. Shopping folder. Eight apps. Radio folder. Twelve app. Productivity folder. I'm going to go apps, in here. Nineteen new items. Productivity. Heading. Reminders. Six tap notes. Calendar. Monday. April messages. 13 voice memos. Messages. 13 unread messages. All right, let's send a message. Messages. Studer Bob. Message. Text field. Is editing. I message. Now this is already, because of some testing I was doing, already ready to send myself a test message. So I simply just start typing. Capital I. Capital I. A. M. M. R E A L L Y really E N J O Y I N G enjoying S H O W I N G showing O U R R N E W S L E T T E R newsletter S U B S C R I B E R S subscribers A O T O T O two U S E use capital T Y P E Two, capital P H O N E type two O N on H E R R there capital A C S period max. Okay, so now if I want to read that, I'm just going to quickly go to the right and then back to the left. Send message text field is editing. I am really enjoying showing our newsletter subscribers how to use type two phone on their Max. Okay, so now I can send it. So let's go to the right. Send button and press that. Send message receipt messages notification. Blindfaith38 at iCloud.com. I am really enjoying showing our newsletter subscribers how to use Type 2 phone on their Macs. Okay, that's all there is to it. With this application, you can enjoy running your iOS device from the keyboard that you're already using on your Mac. I hope you've enjoyed this edition of Extending Your Mac's Functionality. And stay tuned because we've got a lot more coming for you in the weeks ahead. Have a great day.